Hello everyone, my name is Dukani Quills and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Story. Now this episode I want to teach you one very simple thing and that is how to add waypoints to the game. Now this is something I didn't know until recently when I watched uh, Aerova's latest Vintage Story video. Uh, very useful to watch other YouTubers. But basically you press tab to open up the chat. T to be able to type and then you go slash waypoint add then you give it the color in this case I'm going to give it blue I'm not entirely sure if we can use uh, hexadecimal color values but in this case actually I'm not going to go with blue I'm going to go with red because our background is green red and then a name so waypoint add and then a color then a name Press enter, OK, waypoint tab, tab to hide the chat window. And let's see, here we go. There is a waypoint. Now to remove it is waypoint remove, of course, but I'm not sure of the parameters. Mm, when I last tried, it was wanting a, na a number, excuse me, but I don't know if that uh, is valid. I might have to use the waypoint name, which you can see there. It says player draconic rules waypoint home, but it does have the... Um, uh, what, what do you call the things? The apostrophes. Yes, uh, and you might have to use those. I'm not sure. Like I said last episode, I worked on the pit. This is a two white pit, which means it won't work for wolves, but we also haven't had wolves around here and just grab all of this soil here because it's useful building material and pillaring material also the stone very good very nice so uh how do we get in and out well basically for now um we just use a shovel in the wrong place uh in the water. A very good place to use your shovel. Uh, this is muddy gravel. I have no idea what muddy gravel is used for or if it even is useful right now. Well, I didn't move everything and um, another way to get in is to just press shift, go and uh, not fail at jumping, basically. I would put the ladder, but drifters can easily climb up ladders. So yeah, that's out of the question. But anyway, at night it should be safe enough for us to come into this little hill up here and get in our crafting place. Okay, more things that we want to do this episode. Well, I want to make some stairs and... Can I open my baskets? I can. Okay, not enough sticks, not even in my inventory. That is problematic. Mm. Welp. I don't know if I can do anything with these stones. Really should have the wiki open when I do things like this. No, doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna drop them. Doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, oh, come on. The reason this is happening is because my actual keyboard has been sent to repairs. Unfortunately. Uh, and I'm now using the crappy old keyboard that I kept around and that doesn't like me pressing two keys at the same time. And doing this jump actually requires three keys. See, it, it just, no. So this rye is still not growing well, uh, which means we really need to start farming as soon as possible. I did create a home mold, but I didn't have enough copper, and I don't think, for the mold. Well, there's some melting. Guess what I need is more charcoal. Do I still have any? I do! Look at that. I have charcoal and I have firewood, but uh... 
Oh dear. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Anyway, charcoal goes in. We get the the thing melted. We are going to need a good bit more of um, sticks. So, okay. yay! I managed it. Uh, I'm going to try and find some sticks here. So here's some branchy ones. You can tell because they have like a darker brown inside them, or you can just mouse over them. There's a goat, a, a ram to be precise. Let's do something utterly stupid, shall we? I think. Let's grab a stone, granite stone. Keep that muddy gravel away. And let's... There we go. Thus, stones to aggro, not exactly the best um, damage output, but now we can sword the poor ram to death. And that should give us a bit more fat and leather, which is always good. So, stones, very cheap throwables. Let's see, what can we throw? That, um... Blue clay, no. Uh, barren soil, I mean, sure. Also low fertility. Mm, is all of it gonna be barren or...? No idea. But let's bring these resources back to our base. I'll come back for that meat and that sapling. Soon enough. Ah! I made it. Uh, this is not the place where I want to be. So I think I was saving them here. Ooh, four. I think four is enough to make a backpack. Yay! Backpacks give us six slots. Six. That's a lot of slots. So just put the lump of fat in there. Yeah. Now, that flex fiber, I do want to make some tw uh, twine, yeah, twine, out of it, which will be useful to make other such stuff, like a normal bed and some other stuff, I think. Uh, we need food, though. Food, very important. So let's uh, go see how our copper is doing, probably overly melted already fire pit is extinct so no no it isn't uh, darn that definitely means that we need to go for more fire wood and charcoal ow i'm getting hurt yeah i know i need of these. Wait, why am I putting it in that basket? It's not where I want it. I have six raw meat and... Oh. Yet I am starving. Isn't that just wonderful? Uh, we put the raw meat not in there. In here. And put some firewood to cook it. Uh, the gravel. Come on, please cook faster, ow. I wish there was a, an easier way to know how much fuel we need for each thing. Ow. That hurts, you know. To create six cooked meat, and if I do that? No. It would be good to know if there is enough fuel f to cook all that I have in there. But let's eat that meat before we die. There we go. At least we are not dead yet. So there, there is that. Now, good way to make a charcoal pit in here. It doesn't seem to be one. So I'll let that cook and go back to our old pit. Mm. Uh, 
and here we go put that back in don't want things getting out and let us turn as much as we can into firewood not exactly the amounts i was hoping for not gonna lie about that but as long as we have at least one full stack we are golden so i'm going to put these down two one actually no i need to take yeah, you need to take a few for the the the, 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 the thingy, the, the fire pit on top. Anyway, this one needs to be a full block. That's 32 firewood. Did the blocks get higher? No, that, that's making a new one. Give me that. So 32. Uh, and we grab our grass. Put it down put the fire in okay we're golden there now we covered that and kill that grass and there there we go more charcoal going even though it's not as much as we need do we have food now yes we do but i eat all that delicious meat well not all of it just quite a few pieces there we go that was maybe too much mm. so now that we are out of charcoal there's no real way for us to get a more copper than mm. so what can we do when i move things up what did i miss where's my tool rack Pretty sure I missed that. There's two of the bowls. Um, and yeah, ah, here's my tool rack. Well, we do want that hoe. That's like pretty much our next goal is getting a hoe going so that we can do other stuff. For now, I also want to store all of this if I can. No, I can't. So that is doing that. That is working, I think. I don't see the smoke. Oh dear. Did it work? Huh? So we need to solve this issue. This issue is going to have to be solved with another X. Well, the hatchet thingy. Now, I knew you could make tools with other stones, I just didn't know how. Turns out that you put one stone down, like that, and then with the same type of stone, I think, in hand, you just go ahead and... No? Huh. What am I doing wrong about that? Doesn't seem right. I think you're, you are supposed to be able to do other stone things. Hmm. Looks like I still have a bit to learn about this game. Why did, why did I divide that? No idea. Let's see. No? Interesting. Maybe it's a mod that adds that. Not, not sure at all. But anyway, we do an axe head, normal one. The thing about crucibles is that they can hold a lot of molten copper. More than enough for the tools we need. I'm never getting rid of that muddy gravel, am I? Probably not. But anyway... We can... I think I have this set so that one stack of wood becomes four stacks of firewood, something like that. Let's see. Uh, yep, that's exactly it. 
good. I can do math sometimes. Uh, night time. Not the bestest of times to be outside our pit. Though maybe, just maybe, um, we'll be able to catch something in it. See, I jumped twice. Yeah. Okay. Putting the wood in. We know that if all of these are filled in, then it will work. And I'll keep the other firewood as a contingent for later. And I don't have enough grass. Thankfully I have my knife so I can just grab some here. And let's put this here and that over there. Oh. Ah. Spooky. Oh no. Also spooky in other ways. Let's get out of here. And cover that up. Ay, ay, ay. I really wish we could heal just by being, you know, at full health. Now that drifter should have fallen into the pit. Yep, there it is. There it is. Where it will be relatively easy for me to kill it. Smack, smack, smack. Smack. And that's why the pit is useful. As long as y'all don't come at me. Oh, there's another one caught in the pit. Ah, sweet, sweet safety. Well, safe as long as I stay up here. And as long as I don't miserably fail my jumps. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. And we do want to kill the drifters because... Did they just disappear? Uh, we want to kill the drifters because they drop a rare item that allows us to set our spawn, which would be handy. Because if I die, then I wouldn't have to do the whole creative mode flight back to base. Okay, it's daytime. Let's look through our pit. See what we have here. I don't think there are any other drifters in the pit. Nope. How oh, is our rice? Still not fully grown. And there we go. We can now finish our work here. Now, something else we want is more uh, reeds. Not because we are going to make more packs or baskets but because we will want bees eventually and to get bees we need to get a skep which is a thing that uh, is made from the reeds. Uh, again everything I'm talking about can be found on the wiki and I was kind of bad for not having the wiki open somewhere nearby where I can consult it. So we are going to gather quite a few of these and then wait for the... Oh, do I see another drifter? Don't come at me, it's daytime. I said it's daytime. Don't don't come at me. God dang it. Okay. 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 It's fine. It's fine. I also want to remove those blocks as ways up and replace them with stairs. If I can. So why is that drifter out there that didn't follow me in here? That is very rude of it. So, oh, there we go. Mature rye. That is now our rye. Unfortunately, I think we might have to eat it. But the best way to eat rye and any other grain while, I, while I'm at it is to grind it. Now to grind Rain, we need to do something a little bit special and cheating. Let's see if I can get out of here without being completely murdered immediately. Looks like I did. That's fine. Oh, is this food? Growing carrots. Uh, are any of you fully grown? No. Okay. Let's find some rocks, some real rocks. Uh, here we go. Here's some shale rock. 
that should do it. Basically, to get a full rock, what you have to do is remove every block that is around it. So, I'm going to remove this block, this block, this block, and the block behind it, this block. There we go. And now we have a full block of stone. I think we need three of these. Uh, actually, let me check real quick. Okay, I've checked it. We need a four of these stones. So let's see, what else can we get? Well, we can get this one. By, as usual, doing this and removing this one. And the one behind it. There we go. So that's two. Yeah, it's not a neat process, but I have no idea how else we can get the full blocks. Move that. Remove that. There we go. So we are up to three. I'm actually going to put them right here. I wish there was a sort inventory button. Maybe in the future. Or maybe when it's modded. There we go, we never know. Okay, so four of these in a pattern like a so. And two sticks or three? Nope. Maybe one. Let me check it again. Maybe it's the type of rock that is wrong. Let me see. Yeah, it's not easy uh, to memorize all the recipes. Hopefully someone will make some sort of J.I. or something like that for here. No, it's uh, up to the side. Apparently I can't use shale for this. But it's uh, basically this pattern. What that means is that I will have to use some other rock. Uh, is all of that shale? Yes, but I did have granite in my inventory. That means somewhere along these hills, there's granite. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's granite. And there's a chicken. Sorry, chicken, I need your meat. Boars. Oh dear. Okay, let's run by. I'm not gonna harm you. Not harming you. Not harming. I think we're, we're home free. If they had babies, now boars uh, in previous versions used to be super aggressive. Now they are only aggressive if they have babies. Look at this cave. I'm not going down there though. That's drifter territory and my health is low. But up here somewhere should be my quarry. Eh, eh, it's over there. So if my quarry is over here, that means some other stone type could also be over here. Let's see. So you can see how much uh, copper was in here. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like it. Might have been just a few pieces. It looks like it's just a... Ooh! Ooh! Yes! Jackpot! Current! Current bushes! Yes, we are good for food! Ah, oh, happy days! Happy days are these. The bushes are not getting in my inventory because we have way too much low fertility soil. And current bushes and the currents themselves. Let's toss that. There we go. Give them all to me. So currents, they heal you as well as increase your saturation. So very, very good food, especially right now. Ah, uh, good. We won't have to rely on meat so much. Or uh, actual farming, though when we start farming, food basically becomes a non-concern. Uh, I can't believe I'm hunting for a different type of rock. Tyron, why, why, do, why specifically not shale rock? 
Huh? Why not shale rock? What do you have against shale rock? Huh? Huh? There's some flint in shale. So to grab this flint, you have to use your own. You have to have like a piece of... A, actually, you don't need a piece of flint. A piece, a piece of any stone works, but then you just quote-unquote mine it until the shale pops out. It takes a while, but there we go. The shale, the flint popped out, but the shale. Shale is what it's embedded. <gasps> Red current. Cranberry. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, taken. Let's grab something that doesn't have durability and grab all of these if we can. I don't want muddy gravel. I do want those, but um, not really. Don't need that many. Yes, give me the bushes. Now it's getting to be nighttime, which is bad, obviously. But well worth it for all these bushes. That's what I. Oh dear. First drifter sighted. Should we go back home already? I just face the thing. Like, you can completely avoid their attacks if you're fast enough. Um, because they stop and they wind up. See? However, I'm not the type of person to do that because, ah, first, I'm not playing at 60 FPS and that would help. And second, even the FPS I do have is not good enough for my reaction times. Wolves! Really? Really? That, that's how it's gonna be? Uh, and no different rock types. Oh, well. Time to make it back to base, and I can actually check my map nowadays-ish. Ah, there it is. Here's my little red spot, so I am going in the right direction. Also, don't do what I just did there, because it crashes the game. Anyway, that will be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my Patreon, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk, and if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.